Gareth Thomas, the Welsh rugby star, has revealed he is HIV positive. He's thought to be the first British sportsman to speak publicly about living with the virus. The former British Lions captain said he hoped it would help to break the stigma around the condition. The reason I'm, the reason I'm doing this is because, firstly, I want to... I want to remember what it's like to live again. I want to remember what it's like to feel free. And by doing that, I want to, I want to empower so many other people who are in exactly the same position as me and probably ten times worse to be able to feel free as well. Well, for more on this now, we're joined by Dr David Fawcett, a clinical psychotherapist who specialises in gay men's health. Dr Fawcett, thanks so much for joining us here on BBC World News. It's very emotional, wasn't it, um, from Gareth Thomas. And why is it important that a sportsman of his stature, of his fame, is able to talk about this? Why is it important for people out there who perhaps are not famous and who are living with HIV? Right. Well, I really applaud his courage because even in this day and age, some 30 years into the epidemic, it still requires a tremendous amount of courage to break through the stigma and the shame that still is so inherent in, in so many of us. So I think to have someone of his caliber and his... Uh, fame breakthrough as a role model is tremendously empowering for all kinds of people. Mm, absolutely. I mean, you talk about the stigma that's still there. Uh, a survey, I believe, showed that a quarter of people in the US still think you can catch HIV by drinking water. I mean, that's absolutely incredible, isn't it? People still think that way. This was a Kaiser Family Foundation study several years ago. Yes, I was kind of appalled uh, that that level of uh, misunderstanding, or I'll just call it ignorance, uh, still is so pervasive. Um, and there's this general uh, caliber of, of information is really lacking uh, in terms of inequality at all. And yet, and yet, uh, for someone living with HIV in 2019, you know, it, it, it is eminently controllable, isn't it, with the medication, right medication now? It's not a death sentence like many people feared. That's absolutely true. You know, we've we've come a tremendous amount of, uh, tremendously far in terms of the medical uh, management of HIV, and and to be diagnosed today is it's not a death sentence. Uh, it's a manageable disease, like like diabetes, as they say. The problem is that the mental attitudes and the societal attitudes and the shame and stigma haven't really kept up with the science, and so we still see, as as you can see, evident in that video, the the tremendous power that, that uh, such a diagnosis carries and the, the just tremendous internal costs that, that individuals still uh, have, to, have to pay to, to manage coming out as HIV positive and living with the disease. And of course, Gareth Thomas is the first uh, well-known British sports star, but he's not the first sports star, is he, to come out uh, and openly admit that he has HIV? No, not at all. In fact, early in the epidemic here in the United States, uh, we had Magic Johnson, who was a basketball star who came out uh, as HIV positive, heterosexual, black, male, uh, which was tremendously important, uh, especially for reaching uh, the African-American community here in the States, but also breaking the spell that this was um, something that afflicted only gay men or only Haitians or hemophiliacs or all the kind of the H's we used to say um, back then. So it really kind of showed that everyone is potentially someone who can get HIV. And uh, his ability to deal with it with grace uh, really, really was tremendously important. And going back to Gareth Thomas, as I mentioned earlier, a highly emotional, um, you know, admission from him. How does it affect someone's mental health to be told you have the HIV virus, even though we, we know that obviously it is very treatable? Right. So I think in my experience, even today, people that are diagnosed still, it's, it's kind of a traumatic reaction. It's a, it's a punch in the stomach. And, and uh, we know that there's a lot of trauma that goes with that. Um, and I think this has to do with a lot of the echoes of the societal messaging about HIV and stigma that we've all been internalizing for 30 years. And so even though our rational mind says it's a, it's a manageable disease, 
uh, we go to these places of shame and stigma and what are our friends going to say and our colleagues and our parents and our children. So it's, it's um, tremendously impactful. Mm, okay. Dr. David Fawcett, it's so good to talk to you. Thank you very much for